Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. Hope everybody is doing well. So it's been a little while since my last video. For me anyway, because there was a while there when I was coming out with videos maybe two, three times a week. And I think it's been over a week now since my last one. But everything's uh, cool, everything's good. I've just been kind of busy and the weather's been really cold so it's been hard to to sit outside and and uh, do a pipe tobacco review or whatever. But today I was gonna share a new journey I'm kind of embarking on. And first of all, I don't want anyone to worry that my channel will still be primarily pipe tobacco and pipe tobacco reviews. Nothing's gonna change that way. But um, adding on to my cigar journal, which I do uh, maybe once every two weeks or something like that, uh, I'm going to add, I'm probably gonna have some more content pertaining to rolling your own cigars, uh, something I've kind of gotten into the last, well, fairly recently, maybe a week, and I just fell in love with it right away. So I ordered a, a few different uh, tobaccos I was going to share with you guys today. Uh, the first one was actually from Whole Leaf Tobacco. They have different cigar rolling kits you can get with all the tobaccos and a few tools that you might need to make a particular blend of, uh, you should be able to make about 15 to 20 cigars with what they give you. And uh, it was, it it worked out really well. And so now I'm just, uh, I'm waiting for a whole bunch more tobacco. So I just thought I would share some of the stuff that I got and uh, let you know what I'm planning on doing in the future when it comes to this topic. So anyway, we'll start off with what I got from the Whole Leaf Tobacco. And uh, first of all, it's, uh, that's what the kind of the package that's the kit that I got and it's called the Oscuro e Rico and it was the of all the six blends that you can get this one was their fullest because if you know me you know that I like full flavored cigars so I thought I would start there so here's the tip well first of all actually it came with the tobaccos that you need and um, also it came with some really neat bonuses a bunch of coasters so it says uh, the finest premium whole leaf tobacco on that side and then whole leaf on the other. So that's a pretty, pretty neat little gift as well as a notepad to write. I imagine the blends and the things that you come up with as, as you uh, try new stuff out. And a really cool pen it says whole leaf tobacco, Arcon, Ohio. And uh, yeah, actually let me show you before I show you the tobacco, I'll show you uh, quickly, here's a uh, one that I rolled, it's pretty rough, and that this one's a little bit better, I would say. Those bands are just on there for a show, They're, but uh, kind of a pigtail on there. I still gotta work on my caps. But yeah, um, review of this cigar coming soon. I just have to wait for it to acclimate. It The tobacco has to be fairly moist in order to roll it, so uh, it's drying out now, and then I'll stick it in my humidor for a little bit to get out the right humidity, and uh, I'll do a review of it. So, okay, so let's look at uh, some of the tobaccos that I got. Actually, before I start this, I'll show you one that might interest some of you pipe smokers out there. Uh, as well, uh, as uh, m most of you might know, there is a tobacco called Nicotiana Rustica, and it is a American tobacco that, that's no longer really used because it's just really strong and rustic and, and rough around the edges. But there was a blend from... McBaron called Rustica and it uses this tobacco. Well, I actually got the whole leaf version of it right here So this is the pure stuff it's supposed to be up to nine times the nicotine So look out for a review of this coming soon probably my next pipe tobacco review will be the nicotiana Rustica So yeah, I got that. All right, so back to the cigar tobaccos. So the kit itself came with these tobaccos uh, enough to make about 15 to 20 Robusto size cigars, so I've got it taped up because it really has to be it comes at the right moisture To make your cigars. It can't be too dry or too wet too wet it molds too dry it crumbles and it, you can't really work with it It's in some nice plastic Keep the moisture. Well, the smell It's so musky like a musk So okay, one of the tobaccos your filler some Esteli Nicaragua, oh no, yeah, Nicaragua Habano Lajero. So this stuff is potent, a lot stronger than I thought it would be. So that's a filler tobacco. 
Now this is m moister, that's the wrapper. You can't really see what it looks like all folded up, but you spread it out, it's really big and really nice. So that's Ecuador, Equa, Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper, very common wrapper for many cigars. So I got some of that. And then some Sumatra binder, that's the binder tobacco, binds your cigar all together. As well as some uh, Corojo Seco 2006. So that's another filler right there. That would go, that would be Seco would be it goes Volado Seco, um, Viso, and then Lajero. So Seco is a, a fairly mild filler tobacco. It burns easier too. So those are the tobaccos that came with. Uh, it's about a pound worth of tobacco. So that came with the whole leaf tobacco kit. So, and then my other one is from Leaf Only. And that one's the one that had, I got some uh, quarter pound of the Rustica. As well as, um, this is what I'm really interested in, is I love Pennsylvania Broadleaf. And this is a Pennsylvania Oscuro, which is uh, like a Maduro style wrapper leaf. So that looks huge. Like, that's all folded up. Like that's gonna be one giant leaf. I don't know how many wrappers I can make out of that. So that's one I've been waiting for. Okay. And I got some more uh, some Nicaraguan wrapper. So, whew, that smell. And we've got some aged Nicaraguan Lajero from Esteli. So there's some more Lajero. Never had that. The hero is nice because it gives a lot of strength. So if uh, sometimes with my scraps, what I do is I'll make little little cigarillos out of it, and they're kind of mild because it's just scrap tobacco. But if you add a little bit of lajero to it, it gives it a good strength. And another th uh, last but not least here, I got some some seeds to plant. Try planting some tobacco. So I got some burley. I got some red Virginia, and there's one more in there. Uh, it is a cigar cigar plant as well. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe that'll be some more videos in the spring. Okay, so that's pretty much it for all the tobacco that I got. Uh, I made got a homemade mold here that I, I have used already to make my cigar. The ones that you saw, the real rough guys. So... Yeah, look out for some reviews of that. I got a whole bunch of blending ideas, some really cool ideas that I want to work on. And I might even get, there's a couple more uh, leaf only, not leaf only, but whole leaf tobacco cigar blends that I might, I might try with the Nicaraguan. It's a medium strength blend and maybe one of the, uh, what is it? The Connecticut ones, so for light cigars. So I, it'll give me a good, a good starting point of the, the, the light and the medium and the, and the strong blends and I can just tweak them and try my own stuff. Oh yes, that's another thing that I was hoping to try and that is I want to take each leaf and smoke them individually in my pipe and record it in my cigar journal just what the flavors are so I'll know what, you know, what each individual flavor of each tobacco is because I haven't seen any other tobacco, you know, reviewer or cigar reviewer actually sit down and taste each individual component and, and describe it. So I think that would be maybe some original content that uh, some of you guys might be interested in, especially if you're interested in cigars. I've already learned a ton of stuff. I thought I knew a lot about cigars, but until you actually roll one and work with the, each individual leaf, you, you really start to see a lot more. Uh, there's a lot, it goes a lot deeper. So, okay, that's all I was gonna share. Um, have any of you guys bought some whole leaf tobacco? Yeah, wh um, whether it be pipe tobacco or whether it be cigars, let me know in the bottom below. So I hope you guys are find this interesting. I definitely i am really excited to, to start blending some cigars and try, I got some really cool ideas. So I'll share them with you guys as they come to fruition and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So you guys take care and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.